Peking. World famous city, ancient yet young. The capital of the People's Republic of China. A spring snowfall adds sparkling beauty to our capital. This spring, we have the honor to extend our hospitality to Dr. William E. B. Du Bois, the aged and esteemed scholar who has come to visit the People's Republic of China. Premier Zhou Enlai receives Dr. Du Bois, eminent Negro scholar of the United States and member of the World Peace Council, together with his wife, the writer Shirley Graham. Present are Vice Premier and Madam Chen Yi, Chairman of the China Peace Committee Guoma Ro, Vice President of the Chinese People's Association for Cultural Relations with Foreign Countries, Ding Xiling, and other prominent figures in Chinese life. February 23, 1959 is Dr. Du Bois's 91st birthday. A birthday celebration is held for him by more than 1,000 professors and students of Peking University. <laughs> Vice Chancellor Zhou Pei Yuan of the university opens the meeting. On behalf of all the faculty and staff members and the student body of the university, as well as the younger generation of China, he extends his cordial welcome and hearty congratulations to Dr. and Mrs. Du Bois. After expressing his thanks, Dr. Du Bois delivers a lengthy address on China and Africa. He lauds the liberation of the Chinese people and their achievements on all fronts of construction and appeals to the people of Africa. He says, Africa, arise and stand straight. Speak and think, act. Turn from the West and your slavery and humiliation for the last 500 years and face the rising sun. At a birthday banquet in the evening, the guests leave their autographs for Dr. Du Bois. The hosts are the China Peace Committee and the Chinese People's Association for Cultural Relations with Foreign Countries. The character for longevity is hung on the wall in traditional Chinese style. These peaches, symbolizing long life, were sent by Premier Zhou Enlai. There is an atmosphere of gaiety as all present express their hearty congratulations to the 91-year-old Dr. Du Bois. Guomoro says, a Chinese saying goes, from ancient times it is rare for a person to reach 70. 91 is even rarer and more admirable. Our distinguished guest, with his fighting life of 91 years, is particularly commendable. Dr. Du Bois expresses his appreciation in his reply. On this gala occasion, everybody is eager to toast the health of Dr. Du Bois. Dr. Du Bois personally cuts the birthday cake, which is a gift from Premier Zhou Enlai. Music and dances are performed at the dinner.
Many people have brought birthday presents for Dr. Du Bois. They all wish Dr. Du Bois a long life and continued work for progressive humanity. Shanghai, which Dr. Du Bois had once visited before liberation. In his own words, in 1936, I came to China and stayed for a week. Now I have come again with more knowledge. I know that the existence of China is of tremendous importance not only to our own people, but to the entire world. Vice Chairman of the National People's Congress Standing Committee, Sung Ching Ling, receives the eminent Negro scholar of the United States and member of the World Peace Council, Dr. Du Bois, together with Mrs. Du Bois. Last year, Dr. Du Bois wrote to her, expressing his wish to visit the People's Republic of China. Now, his wish is fulfilled. At Wuhan on March 13th, Chairman Mao Zedong, the great leader of the Chinese people, receives Dr. Du Bois, Mrs. Du Bois, and the American writer Anna Louise Strong. Chairman Mao Zedong has dinner with the guests. This has been an expression of the warmest welcome of the Chinese people to Dr. Du Bois, the eminent Negro scholar of the United States. Let us repeat, welcome Dr. Du Bois. <laughs>